hello guys welcome to my channel and today we're going to make sprinkles we're going to need 200 grams of powdered sugar and 30 grams of egg white we are going to take our already warmed egg white and mix it with a hand mixer a little bit then we're going to slowly add in our powdered sugar in different stages as i will show you in this video and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so as you can see i'm adding my powdered sugar and mixing it a bit when well mixed then i add another layer then mix it a bit until my 200 grams of powdered sugar is done It's an easy way of making sprinkles at home if you want to bake a cake and you don't have an idea but you just have your buttercream and your cake. You can always make the sprinkles at home. It's also a cheap way of making sprinkles instead of buying them at the shop. I'm really excited because it's also my first time making them and it was quite nice now we're going to take our baking paper and we're going to use it as our mat to press our sprinkles this method is quite easy it just helps you not to use enough uh, much strength to press the paper piping paper If you have a ruler it also works and this is also a nice way of holding a piping paper so we're going to just squeeze nicely and you also have to make a really small hole and there is no mistake in piping your sprinkles totally no mistake i made a pink and a white sprinkle it's the same procedure after they are dried in almost like 15 to 20 minutes if you want it longer you can go up to 30 minutes you use a ruler or something of this sort uh, to just scrub them a bit a scrapper also to scrub them from your baking paper and then squeeze them with your hand lightly After squeezing them to the preferable size, the next step will be to remove the excess powder that will form during the process. As you can see, just sift them a little bit. As you can see, there is excess and then place them into a preferable container. Awaiting for your use. This is quite amazing and these are my pink sprinkles and I'm doing the same process scrapping them with a scrapper if you have a ruler again you can use a ruler and it's quite easy and it's cheap affordable you don't need to worry about anything else when it comes to decorating cupcakes cakes again after doing this the next step would be to squeeze them with your hand as i did the white one and then look at them very nice and then sift them to remove the excess powder if any and put them again in a preferable container and voila there you have your white or if you want you can color them into any preferable color of your choice i was satisfied with my sprinkle 
and guys if you like the video don't forget to share subscribe and hit that notification bell so that when i upload you'll get a notification